welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome to Miss Bling Beauty. Please do well to like, subscribe, and get notified, okay? And before I forget, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I just want to thank you for the support you've been showing me. In fact, without you, I won't be able to achieve what I achieved in 2022. So I just want to say thank you, okay? You keep supporting me back to back. So, so in today's video, I just want to... I want to talk about uh, black soap okay I'll be teaching you I'll be talking about the do and don't of black soap because I see a lot of people formulating black soaps I see people mixing black soaps and I'll just be like today I actually came for my pro mixers okay those of you who pro mix you just mix things because you've seen other people mixing like okay I'm going to be telling you some very important tips normally you all know the benefits of black soap black soap on itself helps to treat so many skin problems yes herbal black soap especially the ghana black soap okay it helps to treat so many problems but it doesn't lighten the skin so a lot of people tend to promix this for it to whiten the skin and some of them don't do it in the right way that's why sometimes you get people saying that i don't like using black soap because it gives me rashes. i don't like using this mixture because it gives me that 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 and there are a lot of things there are a lot of there are a lot of tiny mistakes that you 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 do when mixing this um, black soap okay so in today's video i want you to watch this video till the end yes watch this video till the end because in this video i'm going to be revealing the truth and nothing else i'm going to be telling you what you do not know about for mixing okay so just keep watching and also your customers are going to keep buying your products yes when formulator, I always say this, you don't be interested in just, don't just be interested in selling products, selling products. You should be interested in returning customers. Can a client use this black soap and come back? Can I sell this lightening black soap for a person? And a person comes back to get it. That's what you should be interested in. A lot of you do not succeed in business because you are so interested in the short run. You are you're interested in the profit that you get in the short run. You don't care to, to think about the future. You don't care to know about the long run. Always try to do your best. If you are a skincare formulator, do your best. Like if a client asks you, a client wants something give that client the best because you don't know you don't know where your breakthrough can come from yes there are times that some customers you do very good products for customers you mix very good things for your customers and at the end they invite they recommend your their friends to you yes they recommend their friends to you in that way your business is going to be like you see you're going to make more profit more cash rather than doing nonsense and selling yes the second thing they are not supposed to do or you're not supposed to add in your black soap when mixing is water yes a lot of you say eh, i would like to add water after all i'm going to add my um preservative well it's good it's good but water some of you add water it's better to add distilled water or rose water you've been seeing me here for mixing my soap what i love using is rose water this rose water has already been it has already been it's like it's distilled water it has already in fact it is boiling water. you add it into your black soap you're going to see great change i think you're going to see great change and the next thing that you're supposed to you don't need you need to add in your black soap is oils you need to make sure you add a lot of moisturizing oils some of you from lay black soaps and you use it after after using it in your bathroom your skin looks dry cranky like the soap instead draws moisture from you instead of giving instead of the soap to give you moisture on your skin it instead draws moisture from it instead draws moisture from you yes you need to know this you guys know what black soap is formulated from it is very dry it lacks oil it lacks oil herbal black soap especially the one from ghana it lacks oil so for you to mix and for you to like to encourage people to get this pro mixed or to get this uh, formulated black soap from you you need to add oils yes you need to add oils you need to add moisturizing oils in such in such a way that when a client or your customer uses this soap and the person leaves the bathroom or if somebody uses this soap after leaving the bathroom the person is not going to have dry skin yes the person is not going to have dry skin hence giving the person that smooth glowing nice skin the next thing that you're supposed to avoid in your black soap is tube body cream i see a lot of you because you are mixing a whitening black soap 
you tend to take some of you even take caro white and add into the black so what are you doing what are you doing that's you carry caro white you carry caroton and you put in your black soap that you want it to be whitening no you don't do that you cannot do that tubes some people use tubes in their black soap that's like you're just wasting money you're just wasting resources yes because anything i always say this anything that requires watch off you don't need to add tubes whitening oils can do the job whitening oils can do the job so avoid tubes some of you like tubes so much you don't know what these tubes contain tubes contain steroids probeta so hydroquinone you need to be very very careful if if you're selling a product out there if somebody asks you if you can actually use that product you should be able to say yes don't just mix because you put in your mind say no not be me i use the product so i will mix anything for sis sell and for people then that's where your business that's where in fact you're at a point where you're going down so you need to you need to promise your black soap like if your family member wants to purchase this product from you you should be able to give that family member confidently if your best friend if your loved one wants to buy that product from you you should be able to give that product willingly and happily with confidence yes not that maybe your 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 auntie wants to get a soap you are like oh it's my auntie i cannot give her this product i've added a lot of evil things inside <laughs> yes so what i'm trying to say is that do unto others what you expect them to do to you yes so after okay i've talked about yes about tubes do not use tubes in your black soap so what is the next the next tip when mixing your black soap is for you to add um you need to add anti uh, skin reaction stuffs in it okay skin reaction stuffs in it yes i always say this whatever you're mixing don't forget you know if you're promixing your black soap for skin whitening that client of yours is is prone to having stretch mark is prone to having green veins is prone to having any stuff you don't want somebody you don't want your client to use that and come back and start complaining so you need to take precautions you need to take precautions there are a lot of oils that fight against this skin reaction stuff okay you can use them um, you can add but oil is, yeah you, but oil is kind of too expensive you can use perfect legs since black soap requires a, a larger amount of production yes you can use um, yes shalom oil is not that expensive but very effective perfect legs as well Shen, um, what do they call this one coconut oil very important when formulating your black soap you need to you need to make sure it is present okay you need to make sure it is present in your black soap so these are some of the tips and then the last tip that you need to know when formulating your black soap especially this black soap in creams yes this is something you cannot I see some people formulating black uh, I see some people formulating black soap and it's kind of like a body watch it doesn't have it's like it's light it's light but you put it in a you put it in a cream cup no, if you're formulating black soap in a cup, that's like a cream. If you want to do, see, if you want to do body wash, do body wash. If you want to do shower gel, do shower gel. If you want to do soap, black soap, and put in a cup, let it be thick. Let it be in the form of a paste. It should be in a paste form. Yes, it should not be washed. I know you all, you some people like to economize a lot. You like to economize for no good reason. Yes. So you need to you need to incorporate all this and i tell you i want to assure you that if you actually if you actually uh, take into consideration all these stuffs i've talked about today concerning this black soap for mixing then your your in fact at 80 percent ahead of having a glowing skin okay yes because some of you do your mixtures for your family for your home yes yeah, so you are ahead so you can actually do you can actually don't minimize any of these factors i've told you about try to incorporate this when formulating your black soap and you're going to get best results okay yes yeah, so that's all about this video my lovely sisters thank you guys for watching if you found this video helpful please do well to like subscribe and get notified okay please like or like subscribe to my channel when you get subscribed you keep on seeing more of my beautiful content and don't forget to hit that notification bell when you hit the notification bell you're going to be the first person to know whenever i upload a new video so thank you bye bye